This is a brand new story and it seems to be so important that the Drudge Report not only made a headline of it, but made it the main headline in a big red font at the top of the page. And when you click on the link, it takes you to a Wall Street Journal article called Evidence of New Human Species Found in the Philippines. They're suggesting that this species is around 50,000 years old and its small jaw and smaller teeth, more like a modern human, it could walk upright like a modern human, but it had feet that were designed to climb trees and they don't go into detail about what that means, whether it's an opposable toe or what. They're calling it Homo luzonensis and they found the bones in a limestone cavern called Calio Cave. So far they found several foot and hand bones, a partial thigh bone, and teeth and those bones were from two adults and a juvenile. So that's one more species added to the list that coexisted with humans around 50,000 years ago, and that includes the last of the Neanderthals, Homo floriensis, the tiny hobbit creature, Denisovans, and now this new species. They did uranium series testing on the bones, and they say they're dated between 50,000 and 67,000 years ago. And they're even saying that the features in the bones suggest that they made it somewhere along the line with regular humans, Homo sapiens, Denisovans, Neanderthals, Homo naledi, which was an older species found in Africa, and even Homo floriensis. So this species settled and maybe it was trapped in the Philippines, but it mated with a lot of coexisting species along the way. They don't know how they reached the island. They didn't find any tools associated with them. They don't know why they died out. But this is just one more species they found that coexisted with modern humans.